Um, I don't know if you happen to read TV Fanatic, but we do. Oh, like, I follow you guys. Yeah, we do incredibly oh, nice. deep dives into oh, the resident and have yes. like so many crazy fans, <laughs> and everybody wants to know something. First of all, whenever um, AJ first arrived on the scene, you know he got the nickname the Raptor because his personality wasn't always all that pleasant. Yeah. And in the meantime, the character has grown to so many different layers and multifaceted yeah. with a family and so much heart. Can you talk about that that progression a little bit? Sure. Well, I think it was always Amy's intent to be able to, uh, you know, go into the rapper's backstory and uh, be able to show context for why he is the way that he is. Uh, and for me, it's, it's a joy because it allows me to play uh, different layers of uh, of this this brilliant being, and the family aspect with two sets of parents now, what are we going to see with that going forward? You know, I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, you know, a, a lot of times, you know, I haven't asked, and I'm sure if I ask, I can get some more information. Could you give him a ring? I know, <laughs> <Just> right? <kidding. laughs> but there, there, there's a part of me that really enjoys, um, you know, dealing with the moments in each episode and just mm -hmm. being present to that and you know there are very very rare instances where I will call just because I need to know you know something ahead that will possibly inform a scene I'm doing now but for the most part I kind of like to uh, live in the moment or live in the episode as it were so even with Raptor and Mina I don't I, I'm not privy uh, as to what happens down the road with that, and I'm kind of okay with that because I'm also a fan of the show. Mm -hmm. So okay. even as a fan, like I, you know, I, I like the experience of uh, things unfolding. And I think their relationship is there are two camps. There's the camp that really wants them to pursue a romantic relationship, sure. and the camp that loves their platonic friendship sure. and sees yeah. it as something very deep. Yeah. Of course, we saw. AJ put his heart on the line and kind of got a little crushed. Yeah. Where, where did you? Where do you stand as a fan? What do you want to see? As a fan, you know, I kind of like the, uh, I kind of like the tease, you know, because I think I think we're all that's what keeps us really engaged. I mean, I think once they uh, cross that line, if they ever do cross that line, uh, one, there's no going back, and then there's a, you know. I'm sure there's there's a lot of new territory that can be really beautiful to experience, um, but then it becomes a different thing. And in what ways has working on the resident kind of changed your views on our healthcare system? Oh, man, um, there was a time where you know going to the doctor, going to a hospital. My chief concern was I don't want to feel pain, whereas now. Even going to the dentist, it's like, I don't want them to mess up. <laughs> you know, and then I think working on the show has really given me an appreciation, a greater appreciation for things that go well. Because being privy to, you know, knowing, you know, how often things don't go well, it's almost like it's really it's really a blessing um, when you go to the hospital and everything turns out as expected and those wonderful situations where everything turns out better than expected. Right. But it definitely makes me a little more concerned uh, now that I have a little more insight into how things can, uh, how things commonly go south. And my last question for you is against is about the, the big bad on the show right now, which is not just Red Rock, which is an institution, but Kane. Yeah. How is AJ going to jump into the fray and help save the world from Kane? Um, <laughs> it's coming. Like I, I can't give you specifics, but um, yeah, Kane is really. <laughs> we got a couple of episodes coming over. He's really uh, wreaking more havoc than ever. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Welcome. It's been wonderful talking to you. Cool. Cool. Thank you.